Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So this video is going to be continuing on with that fruit salad makeup series I've been doing. So first things first, we're going to do our eyes. I'm going to prime them with my Born This Way concealer in the shade Cream Puff. And I'm just using a little bit of this because it is quite a pigmented concealer. Of course, you guys can go in with any eye base or concealer that you have. I do recommend using something to neutralize your eyelids because it's going to help the eyeshadows to show up true to color and also uh, hide any discoloration or veins or redness or anything that we have on our eyelids naturally. For the first eyeshadow of the day, I'm going to take Moomba, which is this beautiful kind of like corally pink shadow from the Malibu eyeshadow palette from Hannah's Beauty Box Cosmetics. And I'm literally applying this through the center of the crease and bringing it towards the inner corner. So I'm not taking this on the outer corner of my eye, which is very unusual. Usually we do like to create that cat eye, but today I'm actually just focusing the shadow through the center kind of crease area and in towards the inner corner. Next, I'm taking Flame Point from Sugar Pill and now I'm applying that to the outer corner. So I'm going to slowly blend that into Moomba, but I'm basically just packing on these colors at the moment and then we'll go ahead and blend them out in a little bit. Then I'm taking Adelaide again from that Malibu pa palette on a pencil brush and I'm taking that through the very kind of socket area, like crease part. Um, just to deepen it up a little bit more. Then I'm taking Malibu from the same palette and I'm going in and applying that on the outer skirts of Moomba with a fluffy crease brush just to soften the edges so there's no harsh lines and it kind of just fades effortlessly towards the brow bone. And I'm also taking this light orange shade from the same Malibu palette and just softening the edges of Flame Point. I want it to all be really seamlessly blended so there's no harsh lines. Next, I'm taking this yellow shade from the same palette again. I'm actually mixing two of them together, like a lighter yellow and a bit of a, like a darker yellow. And I'm placing that on the very outer point of the outer corner, just kind of on the outer edges of flame point. I want to bring some of those yellow tones in there because I feel like a dragon fruit has a bit of yellow in uh, like on the skin of the fruit. So I want to kind of bring that shade in there as well. I just basically packed that on the outer corner and just softly blended it out. To cut my crease, I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk on a lip brush and I'm going to carve out the first two thirds of the eyelid and just softly fade out the outer edges with my finger. I want it to fade into the pink. I don't want there to be a stark white like defining line where the crease finishes. Then I'm going to set my eyelid with a white eyeshadow and I'm just going to go in with white lies from makeup geek and i'm placing that along the whole cut crease where we place the nyx jumbo pencil and milk then i'm taking these two kind of pinky eyeshadows and deepening up the outer corner i'm not touching flame point i'm actually bringing it kind of on the lid area so it's not on the very outer corner because i want those pinks to fade into the orange and then i'm taking aries which is a beautiful kind of cotton candy pink I'm placing that between the dark pinks and the white so that they fade together and there's a little transition color between the two. Because Dragon Fruit has a bit of green on there, I wanted to do a green winged liner. So I grabbed the leaf eye coal from Fat in the Moon and I drew your typical just kind of like wing eyeliner. Uh, it's a gorgeous kind of like forest green, I would say like a light green. And I'm setting that with these two green shadows from the Mali Boo palette. Just to kind of smoke out that wing a little bit. I didn't want it to be so harsh. I wanted to kind of like smoke out just slightly. And for those little seeds in the dragon fruit, I grabbed the coal high coal from Fat in the Moon and started putting on little dots along the white area of my eyelid. Next, I'm taking these black Diamantes. You don't have to do this step if you don't want to. I just thought it was a bit of extra glam to the look. I started placing them just here and there on the eyelid, not covering up all the little tiny dots that we did, but just a couple. So there's a bit of like difference in seed shapes, like some are bigger, some are smaller kind of thing. And then I went in with lashes and these lashes again from Hannah's Beauty Box Cosmetics. I'll leave them linked down below. I, think, I can't quite remember what style they were, so I'll, let the, I'll leave that link down below for you guys. And then I'm going to do and highlight my brow bone with Cloudy from the Dusty Coral 
eyeshadow palette again from Hannah's Beauty Box Cosmetics. And then to highlight my inner corner, again I want to bring those greens back. So I took some of that light green shadow and this shimmery shadow from Juvia's Place Cosmetics and I'm just using this green shimmery shadow um, mixed with that light green to highlight my inner corners and like the inner third of my bottom lash line. Next I'm going to deepen up my bottom outer corner lash line and I'm going to bring those pinks back and darken up the outer corner of my eye just very close to the lash line. Then I go in with some lighter toned pinks just so it's a nice soft gradient and it just smokes out beautifully. I'm not bringing it down too far though, I'm keeping it tight against my bottom lash line. For my lashes, I actually wanted to coat them in like a green mascara but I didn't have one so I actually used the Honey's Beauty Box Cosmetics Green Liquid Lipstick and I actually coated my lashes in that to give a bit of a green tint to them. I really loved actually how it looked, it really kind of tied the look together. And then I went in with a nude eye coal and placed that along my bottom waterline. For lips today, I'm going to go in with my lip liner from Revlon. I'll leave it linked down below. I can't remember. I think it's Dusty Rose or something like that. But I'll make sure to leave it the color down below for you guys. And then I went over top with this Revlon Tropical Lipstick, I believe it's called. I actually loved how vibrant and pink it was. It really like made the look just pop. I was so obsessed with it. And that today, guys, is the finished makeup look on this dragon fruit inspired look. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think down below and let me know requests for the next fruit you want me to recreate. Love you guys so much and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye, guys.